care what you're doing to me. Okay, so I'm back. Good morning. It is Friday, August 22nd. Today, um, I woke up and my pool is empty or half empty. I don't know. The pool is half empty for some reason. Um, I don't know why the pool is half empty. We swam yesterday. We swam yesterday. I don't know if us swimming yesterday, we knocked it loose some kind of way or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's half empty. Let me show y'all. It's half empty. So I'm gonna turn it back on because I'm gonna like turn it on because Andreas is on his way to clean it at some point this morning. He didn't give me a specific appointment time. Um, but today I noticed that I want to get back to working on the backyard, um, specifically the cushions that are right here for the loungers. Um, I ha I sold the cushions myself and I, um, I bought the actual material that I want for the loungers. So I have to sew them, but I'm tired of it looking just so bare outside. Everything's not put together. Like we couldn't lounge on it. Yesterday we got out the pool. Um, so it's like time for me just like get it together. It's taking me, you know, being in school takes everything so much longer where I would spend, you know, time doing other things throughout the day. I find myself spending like four hours a day in school right now. And I know for, you know, graduate programs that it requires that amount of time. Maybe I was a little bit delusional in my first couple classes was just a little, you know, breezy. The first one almost took me out because I was not used to going to school at all. <laughs> um, and then the last three, you know, the last two, they were like pretty breezy. But now it's like, it's becoming a little more intensive for me. So I've got to manage my, really focus on my time management, which is a struggle for me because, you know, I struggle with ADHD. So I have to, I have got to work on this. So um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to really just focus in on the backyard. There is this weird line that's going around the whole property line. I'm gonna take like a broom and some water and maybe like a cleaning solution and see if I can get that off. If not, I'm gonna have to look into maybe purchasing some type of vapor barrier. I don't, and I also don't know if it's coming from the other side of the wall because this is full grass. But I also have it, I also have it on this side, which is the side with the pool there's no grass here at all so i don't know exactly what that is but it's disgusting to look at it's ugly to look at it's not disgusting it's ugly to look at so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go turn the pool back on and i'm going to just put the cushions on the on the thing on the loungers i don't know I don't know. It's just, it's got to come together. It's got to come together. I don't have a plan. And y'all might look at me like a crazy lady today. And that's okay. That's what happens when you kind of look at vlogs and look at people's life. You might discover that I actually really do not have my life together, which I don't. But all of my schoolwork is done for the week. Um, I do definitely want to take advantage of being ahead and look forward to next, look through next week's work. Uh, and see what I can get started on. But in the meantime, in between time, I know we are going to swim a lot this weekend because it's quite warm. So I really wanna get our backyard together so that we can be comfortable this weekend. And um, yeah, so let's go. Let's go work on that. Andreas is here now and he is, um, 
you know, doing his thing with the, with the pool and everything. So what I was trying to do was I was trying to move these panels right here so that I could sweep behind them. Um, but there are frogs back here. So you might've saw earlier, I was knocking this, the, the chair over right here because it was a frog on there. And um, I was just like, what the hell, where are these frogs come from? So right now what I have going, you'll see down there, it's a little fire going and there's another one on the, on the table, oh, it's out of frame, frame. But I keep the egg cartons that my eggs come in so that I can burn it. That's how the locals um, get rid of the, the mosquitoes and stuff like that. So it's been, I sprayed right before I left, so it's been about a month. So I like to clean the patio and then spray, um, clean the patio and then spray. So I wanna do that today. But in, in the meantime, in between time, it's uh, it's a lot back for y'all. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it together. So I'm gonna let Andreas do his thing or whatnot. I'm gonna let the 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 the, the smoke and whatever do its thing, and then and then I'll be back. He said he's gonna get the frogs for me. He got the snake for me last time. I don't know if I told y'all I was a snake back there, but yeah, he got the the, the dead snake. Uh, it was a dead snake. It was like a chewed up kind of dead uh, snake. Um, he says he thinks that a bird might have dropped it. It doesn't matter. So if the if the if the um, frogs can get in, then I think the snake can get in. I don't know where they're coming from or whatnot. Uh, long story short, I have got to find a way to repel the insects. The snake, um, what you call it, the. Uh, the um i can't think of the name of it it's not working because the frogs are pretty the frogs are are pretty bad um and i'm pressed about it i'm not a, i'm not a reptile type of girl uh because i don't I, I just don't it don't matter why i don't like them i don't like them so yeah that's what i'm dealing with and so yeah so I'm gonna let him handle the pool and The frog jumped into the pool. Oh my God. This is supposed to smoke. It's actually burning. I'll bet. Well, it's, I mean, I guess it's smoking. There's another one. Already two. <laughs> two there's, one, there's one right here too. What? There's one. Yeah? Yeah. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe it left. Uh -uh. Okay. You see it? No. Okay. Maybe it left. Okay, good. <laughs> there. Yeah, there's another one. You have two here, no? Yeah. I, I got one. It's one up there at the top. Is here? Yeah, right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> it 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 ran us in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more it's more easy in the water. Oh, it's raining.
Andres got the um, the frogs. It was two of them. So I'm, I'm guessing the one that I found on the the sofa was the one that was over there. I don't know. So he found two. Uh, and now it's raining. So what I'm gonna do is just wait until it stops raining and then, well, yeah, once it stops raining, then I'm gonna go back outside. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna work on something else to try and like make the most of my time today. Oh yeah, because it's like thundering. I don't know, the rains here can be fickle. Like it can be sun is out shining, raining, then it can be dark and gloomy. I don't know. We'll see where it goes or whatnot. Yeah. Watching videos of us I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something more I was so sure, let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you okay, so welcome back to um, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. I went swimming yesterday. And my hair is tripping, tripping like bad. Um, it's Sunday. I am going to the gym. I'm going to the gym. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. I stayed up to like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm so sleepy. But anyway, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to do like a combo of back and legs today. Um, I hate my gym. I hate my gym. Um, for a couple reasons, right? I hate my gym because the machines are so close together. It's always crowded. And it's loud. Like, they, they, they don't give your own music a chance to be heard. Like, it's ridiculously loud. And I think the other thing is, it's not music I want to hear. So I think that's another thing, right? That's another thing that plays a factor into it. So I'm going to drink my pre-workout and I'm going to go to the gym. And then after that, I'm going to just do a quick uh, store run to pick up some lemons. Jen, I want some lemons. Uh, Jack's needs sweet potatoes. And I want sweet potatoes too. And then a few other items. If the pool uh, store is open, then I need to stop and get the little chlorine tabs for our chlorine floaty thingy that goes in the pool and that's about it so today is not a very busy day it's Sunday like I said it's a very chill day um very relaxing day for us so I thought I'd take y'all along to the gym uh I broke a nail yesterday mm -hmm. yeah I broke a nail uh let's see else that's about it yeah yesterday we just swam hung out had a very chill day clean house nothing major and tomorrow i'm just gonna do school all day tomorrow and then tuesday we have like appointments nail appointments i have a doctor's appointment and that's about it yeah i guess that's it i guess that's it for the week i need to go pick up this basketball goal at some point um but yeah, that's 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 what I'll do. So let's go to the gym. Let's let's do that. I just want the happiness. If I broke, if you want to take I'm serious, I need to do those speed. No fit to resonate. I'm on a different frequency. Uh huh. I said, if I broke, not my business. So the gym is called Pedrinos. I can't see it. It's somewhere in here. I'll show you the sign. It's so loud, so I record what I can. 
It is now, um, it's now Tuesday. Tuesday. No, Monday. It's Monday. Monday, August something or another. Don't know. Yesterday was Sunday. No clue what, what, what the number is. But it is Monday. It's Monday. Um, I went to the gym this morning, picked up laundry, some more stuff. But what we're about to do is go to the mod and i want to get boba and i want to um go to sephora and get a lip pencil and um a concealer skin tone concealer you probably can see like my dark spots i don't know like that's because i don't have concealer to conceal them they're way smaller um or whatnot but I need to do that. I had an allergic to reaction to something at the gym. I'm allergic to everything. So I keep trying to fight the urge to scratch at my hand. I'll put a picture in of my leg so you can see like how bad it was earlier. But I took some uh, loretadine and I'm just trying to wait it out. But I'm trying to keep moving so I don't get sleepy because antihistamines make me sleepy. Anyway, long story short, y'all check out my um, earrings. They are from my bestie when she was here um, in conversation for in exchange for her stay and harassing me and get on my last nerve. I got earrings out of her collection. Bella Clayton Knott on Instagram. I will definitely tag her in the description box below. Um, yeah, I love her, her thing. So this is a three tassel earring or something something or another mm -hmm. anyway so yeah that's what i'm doing i'm just waiting on miss mamas to get herself together um even though i told her to get dressed 30 minutes before i even got in the shower she's just now coming out of her room so we're gonna go do that we're gonna go to the mall i'll vlog what i can remember and you know, let's go. You ready? No. You forgot your glasses. I, I mean, I ain't gonna say nothing. A lady gotta get herself together, okay? Because the worst thing you can do as a lady is just be running out the house looking any old kind of way. So, I'ma respect her taking her time to get ready before. Lord. Okay, let's go. So we 
we came to um, La Isla, but there's not a Sephora in La, La, La Isla. It's only in, um, I think Harbor or Galleria's, or Harbor and Galleria's, I don't know, but Harbor's right up the street, so. She got her uh, boba, and we're going to go to, I guess Harbor. Yeah, we go to Harbor, because they also have like a Pets, Martyr Pet Co in there. And then do you get pumpkin for Jax's diet, so. That's what we're gonna do now. Can't you find a meaning What you're seeing here is she took my height. <laughs> it's in centimeters. Do I think she got it accurate? I, th I think it was off a little bit. And I think ultimately, um, anybody that was in the military knows that, like, if a shorter person gets your height, is usually going to be off. But it was it was off. But whatever, potato potato. Um, also, the other thing that came down to is the in-body machine, which I showed you in the previous clip. You have to stand on it. So here are some tips. Do not wear any jewelry um, because it sends like a, a, she said, like an electronic wave through your body. You have to take your socks off. Also, make sure uh, you are able to flatten your hair. So I don't know if that's another reason why maybe she got my height wrong because she was trying to flatten it so much, but my hair is not that big. But anyway, um, you're going to have to take your jewelry off as well. I have a permanent anklet on, and I had to just let her know, like, it's permanent. Like, it doesn't come off. So that's something that you will have to um, pay attention to. And um, you stand on the, on the um, thing, and you hold the thing, and you stand really still. It's not complicated. Uh, and then after that, she gets the results to the computer and then she went over those with me. So that's what you're seeing there, there. And that's where she's explaining everything. I really wish the audio had been better, um, so that you could hear her explain everything, but the audio wasn't that good. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover. Okay. So <laughs> quick update. Jesus, this light is terrible. Okay. Anyway, quick update. I just finished my appointment. She did not prescribe me. Ozempic or a semaglutide she prescribed me Sexenda which is specific uh, weight loss drug y'all ignore my nails a specific weight loss drug <laughs> um so she prescribed me Ozem uh, means a literal glutide not a semaglutide she said it's like the little brother you know here we gonna see how this go I didn't do any research on a literal glutide but pretty much, I'm going to be on it for six months. She also put me onto this site called Nuevo Yo, 
um and on nuevo yeah she said go on register with it since i'll be doing for six months subscription i'll get 40 uh 40 percent off of the what you call it and it's about i think she said cuatro mil seiscientos so like four thousand six hundred pesos which is like 280 ish dollars or whatever i don't know i'm gonna go to the pharmacy next and see if um they have it so the pharmacy is guadalajara is probably like the bigger one or um, it's the one i'm going to go to and see if i can find the sexenda there and that's where i'm going to do my prescription thing that changed that's different about this than with a semaglutide is the liraglutide i'm going to have to inject myself every day right so you get three um pins in a box and every day for seven days i have to do 0.6 milligrams and then 1.2 milligrams and then 1.8 but starting off eight seven days on the first dose then seven days then seven days and seven days all the way until i tighter up to the three milligram for seven days and onwards so it's a specific weight loss drug so people don't get on here talking about i'm still in ozempic for the diabetics baby because i'm not okay um and then i have to come back in two days to see the nutritionist um i have to come back and see the nutritionist because she wants to give me a specific meal plan but let me tell y'all one thing when i did on the little in body thing and it basically said like i am i have a healthy amount of muscle mass all right i have a a, a, a healthy amount of muscle mass so my muscle mass is like at 30 percent the problem is <laughs> I have a low amount, I mean a really high amount of body fat, which is why you can't see my beautiful muscle mass because of my high body fat percentage, which is 50%. And I have like a really high amount of like 22%, which is visceral fat, which is the fat that you can't see. Like it's not this, this is, this is not visceral fat. Visceral fat is the fat that's within like your organs or whatever. And it's a, like 22%. I don't know. She said she's going to email it to me, but she was explaining it to me. And I was kind of like looking at it like, eh, since you think in the wrong ways. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to go um, to the pharmacy next and see if I can get this picked up today. If they have it in stock or see where I can find it at. Because the pharmacy of Guadalajara is kind of like the biggest pharmacy chain so if they don't have it at the specific one by my house which is the one i want to go to then they'll tell me where else within the city i can get it um so i have to sign up for this nuevo yo um so that i can get the discount on it um and and um do this as well I'm trying to find the weight loss medication you used to could get ozempic over the counter at costco baby but costco said never no more um and so i haven't been able to do that so with that in mind you know finding a a healthier alternative the doctor um she is a bariatric surgeon so if also you're looking for something to do with bariatrics then yeah it's a possibility as well all right uh, welcome back to the vlog Today is August 28th, Wednesday, August 28th. So the last point we left off on the vlog was I had went to the appointment and I was prescribed Sexenda. I did not get Sexenda yesterday. I didn't get it yesterday because I went to several pharmacies and they did not have it. I did not go to pharmacies Guadalajara, which is where I'm about to go now, which I feel like will have it. I went to pharmacies Bazaar and pharmacies Ora. Bazaar told me that they had it in stock and gave me the locations. However, it was only like a little small part of the address. And when I looked it up, it was several like pharmacies on that. On, on that street and I'm like child you didn't give me like a number or whatever so she was like take a picture and I was like oh, okay I thought that would be everything I needed child it was not it was not it was not so I'm going to go check out pharmacy it's Guadalajara it's a pretty big pharmacy I'll take out with me it's a pretty big pharmacy if they have it and if they have it then I'll give myself my first shot 
and then I have to run some other errands and do some other things and of course I want to hit the gym this morning one of the main things that the doctor said was like I need to build muscle she was like at this point just focus more so on building muscle than doing any type of cardio because the cardio will break down the I will look smaller but that's because I will lose muscle more muscle than I would lose fat. So the main thing I need to do is focus on building muscle, which I'm all here for. Cause you may be, let me tell y'all something. I don't even like doing cardio as it is. You know, I just know it's a, a quick way to get skinny, but she's absolutely right. I don't want to be just skinny. I still want to be curvy too. And the best way to do that is to build muscle. Will it take more time to look thinner that way? Yes, cause like body recomposition, which is building the muscle to reshape your body, um, it takes longer time, but it's okay. Been there, done that before. Um, and it worked out until I tried to build a booty and then I started eating more macros and more carbs and things like that. And then that's how I blew the hell back up, trying to, all behind a little booty. I'm behind a little booty. I got a scoop every though. I got more. I got you know. I got a scoop. You know. I got. I. You know. Before I would. Before I had a little boop boop. Now I have like a full scoop. So, did it work? Yes. Yes. Um. But yeah. Long story short, this is what we went through. So I'm gonna take y'all with me now to go to pharmacy of Guadalajara, so that I can um. Hopefully they have it in stock there, child. It would be. It would, I would be. Thoroughly pleased if it's just one trip in um, and boom, 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 we done. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do is actually my first, first, first stop is I'm going to pay my electric bill. My first, first stop is the CFE um, Automatico to pay my my electric bill. And then after that, I'm going to go to Pharmacy of Guadalajara. So let's go do that and get our day started. <laughs> I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be Okay, so Pharmacy is going to her. I did not have it And it does not have it at any um Any location So I asked the lady to help me decipher Where the Pharmacy is Della Auto lady Like the picture I took And actually the pharmacy that's supposed to have a box Is down the street So I'm going to um I'm going to go there and hopefully but in the meantime in between time this Uber driver Uber Eats bike has me blocked in and he's just taking his like poor sweet time like he does not give a damn even though I told him when I was coming out like I was leaving but child he does not care just sauntering but anyway I'm going to drive 1.8 kilometers down the street and see if I can find it. So this will be a kind of the, I don't know if it's a kind of medication, but like, you know, the glutides, the magglutide, terepazotide, terzepatide, uh, semaglutide, liraglutide, they're all like, they're all having shortages um, because you know, obesity is a disease. A lot of people don't want to acknowledge that. They're like, oh, just stop eating. People stop, people have obesity for, for different reasons. Um, actually, I'm not an overeater. So I'm not even a bad eater. I just got bad jeans, child. When the, when the jeans was jean shopping, I just got bad jeans. And it's okay, though. It's all right. We're going to fix that. That's why we have doctors. That's why we have professionals. That's why we have medication. So let's go check out Pharmacy is Della Auto and see what they got, okay? All right, I got the goods. I got the goods. So the doctor recommends I do it in the morning. So I'm going to administer my first shot right now in the car. Um, You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't trying to beat, you know, they say, you know, kitty on that stuff. I ain't trying to beat no allegations, y'all. I'm not trying to beat no allegations. I'm trying to get slim, 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 like slim, slim, slim. They say kitty on that shit. Well, I might be. I, I just might be okay so while I was in there um the box came out to 4,579 pesos 
$4,579 pesos, y'all. I don't know how much that is. My guess is something like $230. I'll post it on the screen for y'all. Um, so two things. It has to be refrigerator. So they gave me an ice pack. And then she separated the box with a bag. Okay. So this is what it looks like. So in, anyway, it wasn't even at Pharmacia's Del Oro. At Oro. It was across the street at Pharmacia's Bazaar. So you, you're going to gonna do a little searching, you know. Um, so one box has three pins, lyric glutide is six milligrams of solution per pin, and it says the cajon con tres plumas. So it's the box has three um pins. Okay, so I'm gonna just open this up with y'all. My nail appointment is at three, three o'clock, so ignore my nails. Hmm. Okay. I don't have the I don't have the needles. I have to go I have to get needles. Let me go see if they sell needles as well. Okay, I'm glad we did that here. Let me go see if they got needles. Okay, I'm back y'all. And my girl, my girl knew. She knew. She knew. She said, ah, "Let me help you out." She had them ready when I walked in. Okay, so you need to get the aguja, which is the needle. Aguja para depositivo. Para depositivo. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like when you go in there. So I got the four millimeter, um, and you get ten of them in a box. It was 67 pesos. So, this is what it looks like. There go my... Nope, that's not an AirPod. Y'all lost my AirPods. I can't find them. Cannot find them. I got cotton as well because they didn't have like the cotton swabs and these were 13 pesos and alcohol was 10 pesos I'm going to do it anywhere around the belly button is what she said. But step one is you got to clean your injection site. We're going to do it over here so y'all can see good. Baby, we 
with you and all your bullshit. Rather be with you and all your boo. You, yeah, baby. You. Okay, so then we're gonna roll it. So the first seven days, I will take 0.6 milligrams. So we're going to roll it to 0.6. Uh, I'm going to inject it at a 45 degree angle not like 90 but like 45 degree angle and then I'm going to count to seven okay and that's that on that at least though So we'll take it off like that and it has a needle on the other end of it i really need to get a sharps container um but i'm gonna do it like the old school junkies and put it in a water bottle so but i really do need the top for this where's the top for this one at Money cannot pay for that shit that I buy, sir, no. Being lost up, I'd rather be with you and all your bullshit. Rather be with you and all your bullshit. I'd rather be with you and all your bullshit. Rather be with you and all your bullshit. But I did find my AirPod though. I did find my AirPod. I hope this is oh AirPod. Okay, so that is uh you know it's day one. It is um Wednesday, August 28th, um, 9 a.m. Took my first shot. Um, I'm not gonna do like all the all the all the all the tracking along. So whenever I do my weigh-ins and or appointments and stuff, I'll update you. I don't want this to be a weight loss journey because baby, that's too much pressure on me. I have tried it before with the fentanyl, and I could not keep up. So let's just be un let's just be honest about something. So we'll keep talking about it as it comes. I might do like a dedicated vlog to it. Um, I will go ahead and put the doctor's business card up so you can see it. I cannot say her name. Dr. V cannot say her name. She speaks English. She is great. I go to the nutritionist, um, tomorrow. So I'll up, put her information up, but I'll also put her card up now so you can get her information. Um, my first appointment was a thousand pesos and... My first appointment was a thousand pesos. My, um, the medication for the first box. So the first box she said will last me about six weeks because the dose is not the full three milligram, three milligram dose. But when I get to the three milligram dose, a box will only last me about a month. So for the first month and a half, for the first 12 weeks or so, so three months so the first three months i'll be it'll be like two boxes for me and then after that it'll be a box a month so total 
let's figure out the total amount the total amount i have spent on starting this i do recommend do the new ever yo i'm gonna do that uh probably tonight but when i found out that i was gonna have this little problem finding it i decided just to go ahead and do it because i didn't yeah but she says like 40 percent off so i definitely gonna do it for the next one okay so let's look at it so the first appointment was a thousand pesos um, the medication, 4,579 pesos, plus, plus 13.34 for the, uh, cotton, 10.67 for the, for the alcohol, came, is 4,603 pesos, plus 67.33 for the, um, needles. So that came out to 5,000. 670 pesos i'll put that in today's conversion which today the, the conversion rate ain't doing too bad today is you know 19 and some change let me see what was the number um 5670 pesos is 291 dollars and 21 cents oh, oh 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 you know what else i need to add in i need to add in the two thousand seven hundred and seventy two for the labs that I did last week. Completely forgot the labs um, for the labs. So it comes out to 8,442 pesos. 8,442 pesos. That's $433.14 today. So that's, that's how much it costs today to start this. I'm not putting a price on my health at this, at this, at this moment uh because as much as i am vain but my knee hurt okay and my lower back be hurting like i ain't been this big in a long time so going to the gym eating right and um getting a little extra medical help is gonna go a long way i know i said i was gonna stop the vlog uh last night but i went ahead and and remixed and went ahead and remixed the um the vlog i probably edit that part out so y'all don't even know i said i was gonna stop it yesterday but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because this feels a little more conclusive um the other thing felt like a cliffhanger and i don't want y'all i'm not about to string people along or whatever like i feel like it's better to just give you the information that you need um so that's it so if i have if i feel any type of weirdness or something like that or whatever i'll let y'all know but yeah so we just started it today thank you all for watching please like comment subscribe and share until next time bye stuck in the past watching videos of us i have been trying to get rid of your stuff but